Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Serenite night series. So today we are going to talk about how exactly we can capture number of web elements in Selenite. For example, we have in web driver, driver dot find elements. Similarly, we have a double dollar in Selenite. So single dollar means single web element and double dollar means driver dot find elements. So you can search and you can find all the elements by using double dollar. And then you can other pass the locator, the specific locator that you are looking for. For example, let's see, I want to capture total number of links are available on the page. On which page? Let's see, on Amazon page. And number of tags are represented by A. So if you open, let's see, Amazon and all the links are represented by A tag. So you can go and inspect this. You can see A is register link is represented by A tag over here. So my job is to find out all the links are available on the page right so in driver dot find element when we write in selenium what we what exactly we uh, it, it will return it will return list of web element here exactly also the list of web element will be returned but it's giving you the elements collection over here can you see that it means locates all element matching given whatever the locator that you have given and it will return the empty list if element was not found otherwise it will return a kind of list only so i'm going to return I'm going to store something like this elements collection. This is a kind of list only. So I'm going to write, okay, fine. This is my elements collection. Okay. And let's see, I'll store some collections reference over here like this. Okay. And this particular collection is kind of what? It's a kind of a list. So let's see, I want to print system dot or print Allen. The total number of links are available on the page. So I'll simply write dot size over here. Perfect. And then when you run it, let's see how many links are available on this amazon.com and then we will see some other examples as well so here you can see that uh, total number of links are available on this page 248 links are available now if you really want to iterate this list that also you can do that you can simply write a for loop over here and you can write a typical for loop or you can write a for each loop as well but remember this thing this elements collection is containing what this element collection is actually containing the selenide element not web element so there is a there is one interface selenide element is actually implementing web element okay so let's see see the selenide element sorry this is an interface which is a which is extending so if you go to selenide element which is extending the web element over here not implementing sorry extending the web element it means all the features which are available inside the web element will be given to selenide element because see that's why they have created the wrapper on top of web element so we have to use selenide web element instead of web element over here it means e and then what is the list the list name is uh, the collection list that we have created and then what exactly you want from this e i want to capture a couple of things that give me the text of each and every uh, link which is available on the page and is stored in this particular text over here and then if you want to get something else also let's say i want to get the attribute also which attribute that you are looking for it means for every uh a i want to capture for example is href value see this the url value the navigation url value so i'll say okay fine you give me the href value also and then store inside some variable for example href and then i want to print it on the console system dot or print ln. i want to text plus let's see uh, with the some dash and then I want to print the href value here perfect let's see it is working or not so exactly similar kind of stuff but here they have a different syntax different classes methods uh, selenide element that uh, we have to use here and then see it is printing the text as well as the href value for each and every link and then the test is absolutely working fine over here you can see the console output once again see this right so there are other various operations also you can uh, do it once you get the collection here see for example let's say i want to check the total number of count should be uh, you know should not be greater than 500 or should be greater than 400 or something like this so if you see this example the total number of elements that we are getting that is around 276 this application is so dynamic next time you will be getting 300 sometime 270 200 you never know let's see but it should not it should not be exceeded 400 okay so in this case what i can do i can simply write one direct uh, assertion over here collections dot and see this 
they have certain collections i mean assertions directly available over here not collections so you can see that should have what and then you can pass a collection condition can you see that collection condition you have to write so you have to write this is my uh, collection condition over here and then collection condition dot and let's see with respect to size what are the different methods are available if you are expecting the exact size 376 or 276 because we really don't know next time it will be 276 you can say okay fine the size should be less than what it should be always be less than 400 it should not be a more than 400 or something like this so here you can write a condition like this as well so this guy will behave like an assertion over here if this is working price working fine then the test will be passed otherwise test will be failed here let's run it and let's see so browser is launched and uh, first it will print all the values all the text and extra value we could have uh, commented out that code as well but that's okay the slide is slightly slow okay let's i'm just going to stop the loading and here found 16 this time because i've already stopped it and here you can see yeah that this is absolutely working fine over here like this okay <clears throat> then what else so let me just do one thing just me just comment it out otherwise it will keep printing so many text and the href value what else you can do in fact you really want to apply some streams that also you can do that because ultimately it's a kind of list only so here you can directly apply a stream or you can directly write a for each loop also that you can write it and let's see for example let's see for each you can pass the lambda like this right so i can simply say lambda system dot or print talent and then i'll say okay fine e dot uh something like this that you want to verify so you can check the coordinates css value see get id get location get own text there are so many methods are available that you can check that for example let's see i want to uh capture the text once again so i simply write get text over here so in the single line also without using the for each loop that also you can do it okay so let me just uh, run it once again and let's see what happens so amazon.com is getting launched this time it's completely fully loaded 374 links and then see it is printing the text of each and every link which is available on the page and the test is absolutely working fine so with single for each loop all i mean for each method also you can use it if you really want to use any streams you can apply the stream also see there is a stream method which will return the stream of web element and then you can apply a filter also and then for every e let's say i want to avoid all the blank text see if in the last uh, print if you see there are many blank texts are coming can you see that see this i'll show you there are so many blank uh, texts are coming that if you really want to avoid that you can filter it out so how will you filter that for every e dot uh, simple write okay fine supply e dot get text then if it is empty then you don't need to include that okay so i'll supply not over here and then i'm going to write one for each and then i'm going to supply with the lambda system dot or print talent and then i'm going to print e dot get text over here once again like this it means first stream apply there are 274 or 275 link text are available links are available and then filter if the text their text is empty then no need to include that so it will filter it out all the blank text the links and then supply to this guy for example out of 274 on only 200 we got and then for those 200 you supply to the system dot or pen talent with the help of lambda and then try to print their text over here let's see it is ignoring the empty text or not so before that i'll do one thing let me just comment it out this one line number 30 otherwise it will keep printing the text of each and every link okay let's run it again and let's see this time we should not get any empty text on the console okay so let's see yep awesome see there is no blank text no empty text everything is perfectly fine and then we are getting only those links which are having some text and the text is not empty like that also you can do that okay now for example let's see i want to print the last uh, last 10 numbers or last 10 elements only so here there are some functions like last also you can use it and then it's saying that it will return the element collection but it's saying return the last n elements of the collection that is your lazy valuation number of elements one to n for example let's see when you get all the uh, collection you just give me the last 
10 elements only and then you try to print with their uh, text over here system dot print and e dot get text that's a really nice you know inbuilt feature is available let me just comment it out and let's see this time we should get the last 10 elements of the list of the collection okay this is such a nice feature let's see see only 10 links we are getting on the console you can see the last 10 links as you can see is starting from ring smart home security systems and the last one is uh, privacy notice and the internet internet based ads maybe you can cross check you can just come over here and then here somewhere see here you can see privacy notice and internet based ad that is the last element okay so this is absolutely working fine okay now if you really want to try some other solution some other example for example let's see i'll go to uh, this application freshworks.com and on this application i want to print all the footer links that is again an example of driver.find elements only from the footer page not from the entire page so how will you do this so let's see i'm going to create another class here and the class name that i'm going to write this is my footer list and uh, click on finish and i'll do one thing that is uh, i'm just going to take this example from here to here okay and this is at the rate test the application is freshworks.com so change the url to freshworks.com and then let me just collect the collections and uh, we can put a bracket over here as well now see this carefully from the footer i have to either create the x path or see a selector only for the footer so right click on it and go to inspect and uh, i'm going to inspect this guy so here you can see that we have ul footer nev and uh, here you can see that footer main is available and this is also footer and then i'll start my x path let's see from the footer okay and then give me all the ul or double slash ul actually over here so it's giving you four uls second third and the fourth one like this you can see for the uh, footer links are available here you can see second third and fourth and then under ul there are number of li's are available there are direct association of the li so single slash li now here you can see li's are available and each and every li is actually having some text over here see a text and it's directly association so we have to use single forward slash a here like this so i can quickly create an xpath which is giving you the count of 125 over here like this perfect so let's see if it is uh, working or not or I can directly apply under footer for example give me all the links but there are 34 links are available not 25 so better to use this one only I want a specific 25 uh, links so I can use by.xpath here as well instead of by.tag name I'll be using my xpath and this is my xpath string perfect just like we do it in driver.find elements same thing I'm doing it over here and then if you really want to print you can use a typical for loop for each loop or you can use one uh, stream also i would prefer streams quickly see i'll simply write a for each method directly i can use it with the help of lambda or if you want to use a stream that also you can use that and i say okay fine that for each and every element supply with the help of lambda and then capture the text of all the footer links okay so let's see it is working or not and then there are other validations also you can do that guy this site is okay fine and uh, you can see the footer is available here and see all the footers are absolutely working printed on the console over here like this 25 is the count and then i'll do one thing this time i'm going to capture the last five one so i'll simply write see last and then five and then give me for each Supply with the help of lambda system dot or print ln e dot or get text over here. That's it. And let's run it again. Run as test ng. This is the footer, I guess. Yep. So see after printing it, it should give you the last five one. So let's see. So here you can see that uh, okay, the last five one are totally blank. You know why? Because the last five one, if you see the last five one, let's see. 
from 21 to 25 19 21 25 the 21 to 25 is representing these social media links and these social media links having no text can you see that these social media links are having no text <laughs> okay so that's why it's not considering that okay so what i can do is i can do one thing give me last 10 one okay and let's see or you can apply a filter also with the help of streams so let's see it is uh, picking this time or not yep and uh, let's see the console and here you can see yeah so last five one it's printing see gdpr and all such things last 15 one having some blank and then some blank values also there for the social media links but here it's proved that okay yes these are the five links are absolutely working fine and you can see the same five link we were getting from here you can see uh, GDPR, text frequent, FAQs up to on festival from the first top 25 list and then the last 15 list also we are getting it over here. Okay, so these are the different things that you can apply. It depends on application to application. But if you write, let's see, columns dot first, that also is available. It means give me the first elements. If you supply only first, it's saying that uh, it's faster and written the same result actually. It's exactly the same thing. You, either you write uh, you know uh, double dollar first prefer dollar css it's faster and return the same result okay so it means this is equivalent to type a dot find element or single dollar so better you write if you really want to look for only first five elements or first element that also you can apply it over here okay so you can check there are various methods are available guys you can check that filter also you can apply see this first for each and uh, you can check the list is empty or not you can apply the iterator as well last that we have already seen that you can apply the parallel stream also you can remove the index remove the value uh, from the specific uh, on the basis of index from the list and then there are a uh, number of uh, assertions also available in the form of short in the form of should okay you can see it over here like this so you can cross check you can check that you can take the snapshot also that I haven't tried. Take the snapshot of the current state of this collection. Succeeding call is to the object will not reload collection this. Okay. That we can check it later. Okay. I think that's really good. You can take a sub list also. This is also nice. Okay. From 1 to 10 or 10 to 15. Like that also you can create a sub list which will return the list of selenide elements. Such nice features are available guys. I think you should uh, uh, try this. See there is direct method is available for the text fail safe method to retrieve the text of the given element any collection of element arrays of text it will return it means it will return the list of a string directly oh nice that's so good see this method is directly available you don't need to write any for each loop or dot get text method over here fine you simply use it let's try this method in front of you and let me just comment it out and the text is uh, saying that uh, okay this method is saying the let me just cross check that Here, this text that we can use it and uh, this will return the list of a string actually so we will directly get a string over here we don't need to write any custom function or any generic function for that see this is so nice and I can say that okay fine this is my uh, uh, footer text list perfect and then if you really want to iterate this particular footer text list that also you can use it now so I can directly use uh, and uh, footer text list dot let's use a for each and then supply with e and then just this is the text actually and then directly print it on the console this is so nice i mean i really like this feature the text function directly available generally what happens in selenium we have to create a text create a bank blank array list and then store it over there and then then return it here we don't need to write such logic over here which is directly available here let's see and uh, oh yeah we are just printing it so here awesome see it's printing all the text that's it you just capture the collection list and then supply apply it in text method directly this is also a very nice method available okay so you can keep exploring these methods keep trying let me know if you have any issues in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all